Hey everyone, uh, this is Anthony Pizzillo here with Mastery Martial Arts. Um, as you can tell, you know, at Mastery, we strive on our life skills. Our life skills are by far the number one most important skill that we teach all of our students here at Mastery, you know. We thought during this wonderful 2019 new idea, we thought we'd give some helpful tips to parents, teachers, and everybody out there on how we can develop better skills in life. And if you really think about it, the number one, the key, the king, the number one skill that we should be working on daily is developing this right here, our discipline. And our discipline is what helps us stay the course in life. You know, you think about some very successful people like my instructor, Mr. Horan, um, even Jeff Basil, the owner of Amazon, the CEO, Tom Brady, uh, the most successful athlete in the world, Michael Jordan, another very successful athlete. What got him to that level? It's this right here. It's the consistency day after day, morning after morning, afternoon after noon, night at night, developing this key ingredient right here, discipline. So over the next few weeks, what we like to do is we like to give you some very helpful hints on what we're gonna do, not only in our martial arts classes, but maybe what you can do at home as well too, to start creating more of the, the discipline that we wanna see our students, more importantly, in life. And if we're able to work on this key ingredient right here, kind of everything else just falls right into play. So there's four areas that we work on in our discipline skills. The first one is obedience. The second one is self-discipline. The third one is self-awareness. And then the fourth one is self-control. Today, I'd like to talk to you about obedience. You know, when we were kids, our parents always told us what to do. And as parents, it's important that we always tell our children what to do. That's being obedient. And children really don't know yet what's right from wrong. That's why they're always testing the waters of what they can get away with and what they can't get away with. So it's our job as their parents, their teachers, and their mentors is to help them with obedience. Here's the simplest way to do it. Set up a rule, reinforce the rule. When you see the rule being worked on or done correctly at home, reward that. I'll say it again, it's very simple. When you see, you set up the rule, whatever rule it may be, whether it's putting your socks and sneakers away, it's a perfect example. You know, I'm driving in the car with my son and all of a sudden, you know, before we get to the house, I tell him, Anthony, it's, uh, it's time to put away. When we get in the house, we're gonna put away our socks and sneakers right in the right spot. Do you understand? He goes, I understand. And while we're walking in the house, I'm telling him, Anthony, you know, just remember, you and I, we're gonna put our sneakers in the closet, okay? Got it? I got it, Dad. And we get in the house and we do it. And then I give him a high five and a hug and tell him how proud I am of him. That one idea right there is beginning to, the, the idea of discipline. Helping a child become more obedient. We set up the parameter, we reinforce the parameter, and then what we do is re reward what we were initially set out for of that one idea. You know, obedience really comes from knowing what's right and knowing what's, what's wrong. Kids at a young age, they don't know what's right and they don't know what's wrong yet. But our job as their parents, their teachers, and their mentors is to continue to reinforce that. You know, it takes thousands of times to form a good habit. To get a child or anybody, including myself, to be more obedient, it's gonna take thousands of times. The question is, how many times as parents are we gonna to continue to reinforce this and what environments are we putting our children into to help them reinforce this habit of obedience? And you know, there's three major steps that I'd like to leave you with today on obedience. Number one is making sure our children always, always, always follow the rules set up at home by their parents, teachers, and mentors. That's most important. Number two is reinforcing it. And then number three is always making sure that a child understands what's right from wrong. And if we continue to those three habits over and over and over again, success is gonna to continue to follow. So I wanna leave you with this, is help you understand is that obedience and every skill that we learn in life is, is, was taught, it wasn't caught. Even our bad habits in life, we develop those. Our good habits in life, we develop those too. So the question I ask you as parents and as teachers and mentors is, what kind of habits, number one, we have to start with ourselves, do we wanna develop? So our children can see it in us. 
And then secondly, how are we going to help our children develop the habits we want to see them develop for life? So I truly believe if we focus just on this one idea of obedience, about getting kids to do things, what they're told to do, when they're told to do, and help them realize that they are not in charge. We are. We're the ones that set up the rules. We're the ones that make sure they do what they need to do. They shouldn't be making the choices. It's our decision to make the choices, what's right for them and what's wrong. Um, somebody told me a long time ago, and it made a lot of sense, is that if we want to give a child a choice, that's great. Why don't we put an apple and a banana on the table and have them pick what, what they want for a snack? Or have them put two books on the table and let them pick what book they choose to read? Or today, do you want to do push-ups, sit-ups, or squats? You see, they're all great options. What we're doing is we're giving the kid the power, in a way, of helping them realize that they can make a choice, but each choice is great. So that would be my recommendation, what I'd like to do with kids, is helping them uh, make better choices in their life. But again, it all starts with obedience. So I appreciate you guys watching this, and you know, if you are still watching this, I, I definitely know you're the type of parent always looking for the best next thing for their child. You know, we truly believe here at Mastery, every single parent loves their child. But not every parent is always searching for the best next thing to help their child become better at life. And if you're that parent and you think martial arts, mastery martial arts, could help your child become a better version of themselves, you know, I'll leave the link above for you. You can check out our website. You can email me directly. You can give me a call. Um, we're always here. We want to help. We want to see children succeed, especially in every, any endeavor that they do. So again, parents, it's obedience. Obedience is the first key. Tomorrow, I'll explain the next key, which is self-discipline. That's the most important one. And every single day, we want to get in the habit of improving just a little bit. And if we continue to improve that idea just a little bit over and over and over again, great results will follow. So I'll see everybody in class tonight. Uh, last night was a great night in class. So it was great to see so many students rocking and training hard after our break. And uh, can't wait to see everybody back in class. So thanks so much for all the thumbs up, guys. And thanks for the comments. Uh, I really appreciate your support. Um, you want to click that share button? That, that mean a lot to me. And uh, have a great day, guys.